This is one of the greatest stupas in the modern world. And inside? It's the largest Buddha carved from jade in the entire world. But how did he get here? A stupa, also known as a pagoda, is the most sacred building in Buddhism. It symbolizes the enlightened mind and the path to enlightenment. This one is modeled after the Gangzi stupa in Tibet and stands at about 50 meters tall. Stupas are often surrounded by four gates, corresponding to the four cardinal directions. These directions in turn relate to the four events in Buddha's life. East represents birth, south represents enlightenment, west represents the first sermon, and north represents nirvana. Although the Zen stupas have greatly changed over time, they generally follow the same principles and represents the body of the Buddha in the seated position. The base would represent the legs, the middle represents the torso, and the top represents the head. To quickly explain Buddhism for those who don't know, essentially Buddhists believe that suffering is essential to the cycle of life, death, and reincarnation. To break the cycle of suffering, one must attain an enlightened state of mind by following something called the Noble Eightfold Path. Now, this symbol may be familiar to you as it's used in many cultures around the world. Now, there are two major branches of Buddhism that have been recognized, Theravada and Mahayana. Theravada is the oldest tradition where it emphasizes an individual's attainment of nirvana, breaking the cycle, whereas Mahayana believes that one works for the liberation of all beings. There's also a third which is the Tibetan way, and it teaches something similar to Mahayana, but instead of taking many lifetimes to achieve nirvana, Tibetan Buddhism believes that it can be achieved in a single lifetime and teaches a faster way to enlightenment. Alright, now back to the Jade Buddha. How did he get here? Now, jade has always been a prized gemstone in Asian and Pacific culture since ancient times. Now, believed to be the stone of the heaven, it's been prized for its magical healing abilities. Now, this Buddha specifically was carved from a piece of polar jade, the highest quality of translucent jade in the world, and was found in the 2000s in Canada. And since 2009, this Buddha has traveled to 120 cities all around the world and 20 countries. Now, since 2018, it resides here in Bendigo. All right, that's enough information for now. Let's go take a look around. All right, now these over here, these are meditation stacking stones. Now they're useful in meditation because it requires a great deal of concentration to be able to stack these stones like this. And I think the best one here so far um, is this one. Look at that. All right, now let's go into the garden. <laughs> All right, so this right here, this is the Guan Ying or Gun Yum in Cantonese. We have one of these statues in our home and she represents one of the uh, deities of compassion. We do pray to her a lot and she's basically one of the main people that we do look up to in uh, Chinese culture slash Cantonese culture. I'm not really sure there's a bunch of different uh, versions of Buddhism, but the one that we follow, we worship her. Alright, now there's actually a really sad story attached to this one. This temple was built in memory of a child that died of brain cancer at a really young age. And Aisha was actually at the funeral for her and she definitely cried a lot. So the stoop is definitely an amazing place to be. And if you are ever around in Bendigo, please come and check this out. There are a lot of things in the garden that I didn't get to mention. So come here and explore for yourself. But that's it for the day. I'll see you next time.